Greetings everyone, hope you're keeping well out there, as I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex and today we are checking out the Ape Man M4 DLP Projector. Now when it comes to Ape Man, I'm sure we've all heard of the company, as they make a wide range of various technology products, including action cameras and of course projectors too. And today, as you can see, we've been given the exciting opportunity of trying out one of their projectors. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start off the usual quick unboxing and then we are going to test it. Kicking off with the packaging then, well, I must admit, I do like it. I mean, you've got this nice dark, bold grey. And then on the front here, you've got a nice little picture of the mini projector itself. And then in the top left hand corner, you've got this symbolic writing explaining exactly what it is. So we lift this up like so, and straight away we are greeted by the actual projector. Let's just take this out of here, take it out of this, take that off there. Wow, seriously, look at that. That just feels incredible. It really is something. But you know what the most surprising thing is? There is just no weight to that at all. It really does feel incredibly light. In terms of the actual design though, I am very, very pleased. You've got this nice black glossy surface on the top and then round the sides, once more, you've got this bold metallic gray coming through with some rather shiny buttons thrown in there as well. Now, if we turn it over to the back, here we have obviously the inputs and outputs. So we've got the headphone socket. We then have a USB output, and I will repeat that. It is a USB output, not an input. Then we have a HDMI input, and then of course the standard micro USB charging input there too. But look at that though, that really is very impressive. It's very nice, extremely lightweight, and so far from what I can see and feel here, this is a very nice product. So let's just see what else we get in the box where well, we can get rid of that for starters. So to begin with, we've got the Ape Man M4 user manual. We now have two compartments to choose from. So we'll go for the right one and let's see what's in here. Okay, so it's a USB plug, obviously to keep it powered or to charge it up. And the final box here we have inside, I presume will be the cables. Let's see what we have. What is this? Oh wow, look at that. They've included a mini tripod as well. Well, that is very cool. That is very thoughtful of them too. But let me just see how good it is. Okay, then it does feel a bit cheap and plasticky, but at the same time, I'm more than happy with that. And the final two bags here, well, this is of course the USB charging cable. Let's just see how long this is, just in case you do need to have it connected to a power supply. Yeah, that's quite long. And look at that, they've even included a HDMI cable as well. So that is very cool. So you've got a tripod, you've got a HDMI cable, and of course you've got the projector and the power supply there too. So pretty much, once you unbox this, you are quite literally ready to go. Now, as much as I'm dying to set this up and just see how good it really is, we've got the 8-man user manual here. I'm just going to check out some of the specifications that this micro projector actually has. So, for example, we know it is DLP technology. Now, the actual dimension of this, listen to how small it is. It comes in at 98 by 98 by 21.5 millimeters. I mean, that is how small it is. And in terms of the weight, are you ready for this? 0.44 pounds. It's just unreal. As for the image that this can provide, well, it can be anything between 30 inches up to a maximum of 100 inches. So that's pretty big for such a small projector. And of course, one of the most important aspects when it comes to buying a projector is the resolution. So this one can provide a resolution of 854 by 480. So it's not HD, it's not even 720p, but at the same time, for that size, I think that's gonna be quite adequate. Now here's something I haven't really mentioned, but inside this projector is a built-in battery, which does obviously make it even more portable because you don't need a power supply no matter where you are. But this brings us back to the USB output on the back of this projector. Now basically what that means is because it doubles up as a power bank, if you have your films on a USB memory stick and you plug it into this projector, then it will not be recognized. But at the same time, if you plug your phone in via the USB or you do plug something in that does require a bit of charge, plug it into this and it will charge. And as for the built-in speaker, well, this contains double one watt loudspeakers. 
So there we go, in terms of the unboxing, that is pretty much it done and dusted. So now of course comes the main event of seeing just how good the pitch quality is that this tiny projector can actually provide. So here we are then, the projector is set up in my son's bedroom and I just want to confirm we are approximately 2.6 meters or around eight and a half feet away from the opposite wall, which should hopefully give us a nice and large display. To kick things off then, here we have Jurassic World being played on the maximum screen size of 100 inches. And the picture is coming through, as you can see, pretty good. Now when you do look closely, you can see it is slightly pixelated, but from a normal seating distance, it's actually nice and clear. Here is another example of quite a bright film and once more from a normal viewing distance, as you can see, the picture does look excellent. Now it is slightly darker around the edges in some places, but again, overall for an 80 inch display from such a small projector, it works very well. Now this is some 4K footage I try out with most of the projectors I get to test. And this is it on a 35 inch display, which actually works exceptionally well. Now don't forget the projector has downscaled it, so it isn't true 4K or even HD, but still the colours come through nice and sharp and the picture itself is highly detailed. Now I apologise for the footage used here, but this was just me having a bit of fun with some visual effects. And I wanted to show you how well the projector works in a room with lots of light. And unfortunately, like most projectors in this price range, it doesn't do it very well. Yes, you can just about see the image, but for the best viewing experience, the less light, the better. As for connecting your smartphone to this projector, as I know a lot of you will want to do that, well, the Aveman M4 does not actually have Wi-Fi capabilities, but there are still ways to do it, and I've placed them all in the description beneath this video. Finally, who could forget about gaming on this projector? Well, here I have connected my PlayStation 3, and this is some footage of myself and my six-year-old son having a two-player on the classic driver San Francisco. Now, first of all, you will be glad to hear it all works perfectly smooth with a bright and clear picture. But most importantly, you can play on your desired console flawlessly as there is no lag or delay whatsoever, allowing you to concentrate on gaming and totally immerse yourself with up to a 100-inch display. Well, there you go. That was a quick overview and of course, demonstration of the 8-man M4 projector. And you know what? For me personally, I think in terms of portable projectors, this is a serious piece of kit. But being a portable projector does come at a cost. For example, it's a shame it doesn't provide a true 1080p picture quality. And of course, there is no user interface so you can manually adjust any settings. However, in its defense, this projector is not intended for a solid home theater setup. Its main purpose is portability, and thanks to its internal battery, you can literally pull this out of the bag no matter where you are and watch your favorite films or even TV shows whilst you're on the go. Now, the battery itself takes around three to four hours to charge, and that'll give you around two hours of playing time. So you can't exactly do a marathon of Netflix, but if you want to watch a couple of episodes of something, or maybe have a classic movie night under the stars, then this projector easily gets the job done. 
Overall, however, for a portable projector, this really is fantastic. It provides good colour with great contrast ratio. And although it may not be as good as a true home cinema setup, if you are someone out there who does a lot of travelling and wants their entertainment on the go without the hassle of carrying around big bulky equipment, then the 8-man M4 is something you should definitely seriously consider. Now of course, as usual, if you've got any questions or comments or even thoughts that you'd like to ask me about the 8-man M4 portable projector, then you know what to do. Put them in the comment section below and I'll do my very best to get back to the answer as quickly as possible. Not forgetting, if you enjoyed this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. Don't forget to share it and most importantly, hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.